Okay, well, hey, neighbors. I don't even know what to call this. Uh, I think I should start a playlist called Chainsaw Redeemer's Tired. I'm real tired, neighbors, but I I'm a happy tired. Listen, I know it's messy, okay? I know you don't like a lot of the stuff I'm saying, but damn it, I'm gonna tell you something right now. Listen, there's beautiful people in our community and I want to lift them up, neighbors. So whether you like what I'm saying or not, don't let it impact what you think of the people I mentioned on this channel because this is about redemption. And okay, Christian neighbors, don't judge me. Judge not lest you be judged, okay? We're supposed to judge righteously, okay? You think what you want. But listen, God is a word to me. It is not the king of the universe. I'm sorry, okay? We have a difference of opinion. I respect yours, you respect mine. Let's let our neighbors that don't believe in Jesus just feel fucking loved, okay? Please, please. I love you, neighbors. I'm gonna keep giving stuff away on the channel as the king leads me to, okay? Hey, listen, I'm gonna lift businesses up unless they tell me not to. But even if y'all don't wanna bring a chit to me, let, let them do business because they're good neighbors. Listen, the Timber Brothers Tree Service, they're good neighbors. They deserve a chance, okay? So if anywhere on this channel they do give you their contact info, please give them a chance if you need tree service. Don't judge them based on my actions. I've got a young man, Damarian. He just cut my grass. And he was so honest. Just told me, I have a rough day. I'm going to be late. Blah, 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 blah. And then he got here and he got tired and he, and he felt like giving up on a job. And he just said, I'm running out of time. And then he came to me later and basically said in, 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 in his own way what I'm saying. He said, I did you dirty, neighbor. I just stopped caring because I've had a rough day. That's why I didn't finish cleaning up that brush. I said, you're okay, neighbor. Do you need to cut the grass another day or what? It's okay, neighbor. Don't worry about it. You know why? Because he was honest. He was raw. He was real. And his family believes something totally different than what I believe or what Christians might believe even. I told the young man, I don't care what he believes. I know what his family believes. I don't care what nobody believes, you guys. I just want to love, damn it. I just want to love each other, damn it. I will be loving my neighbors that are doing a good job. Like the Timber Brothers. Like Demarion. I have his contact info. And the Chainsaw Redeemer is going to make sure he gets more of his business cards. And he's going to hand them out. Unless the young man thinks I'm too crazy. I don't listen. Don't let whatever's going on right now in the shed shop affect these businesses. I'm going to be bringing you a guy named Mitch who, who makes these, these amazing 3D uh, hooks that I think are well worth the $19 he's charging. I'm going to tell you exactly how you can get those. Okay, but it's Saturday. Well, it's Friday. It's my Shabbat. It's my one day of rest a week. And I'm going to go contemplate the king and what the hell he's doing with my life. Go to Confessions at the Parts Washer playlist, neighbor. Okay? And go to the video labeled, I Did You Dirty, Husqvarna, Chainsaw, Giveaway, Confessions at the Parts Washer. That's the playlist and then the title. And all you got to do over there is follow very three very, I made them very clear, three very simple instructions. We've already got a few people. Hey, if there's only two people in the drawing by the end or three, I might just give you all chainsaws. I don't care. Okay, we'll see what happens. But my biggest thing right now is the chainsaw redeemer's tired. We'll see what happens. Okay, so thank you neighbors for loving me, for the grace and mercy. I had a beautiful, I know today, you know, it's it's amazing how I hardly got anything done at the bench after the sun set or came up today. Why? Because I was doing the real work. I was spending time with my neighbors. I was having a brother rebuke me in love for what I'm doing on the internet. It's beautiful. Hey, neighbor, you know who you are. You can comment below if you want. I'm not going to call you out, neighbor. But you know what? I redeemed his chit on the channel. Okay. I still want to fix your shit. You're keeping me sober. Okay? You're keeping me right instead of wrong. Okay, neighbors? You know? It ain't perfect. It's messy. I don't know what he's doing. I don't care. I just trust him. You got to trust that, neighbors that believe in Jesus and neighbors that don't. I hope you'll stick with me because I'm going to get better, damn it. I will get this little tiny ass building organized in a way that it works for me. Or I will buy another building. I will build another building. Or it's not meant to be and I, I got to trust that. But listen, I love all my neighbors out there. 
Thank you to all the people subscribing and getting involved. Thank you for keeping me sober and preventing me from driving to Maine and beating the shit out of Brock for putting his hands on my son, Braden. I'm sorry, Braden, that I can't protect you, neighbor. Son, who I love and did dirty. Listen, neighbors, Jesus don't do shit 85%. So if I go 85% on your shit, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to repent. And I'm going to make it right. Okay, no matter what it takes, I ain't perfect. Damn it, I can't get to my bars and chains back here because there's too much shit in the way. I'm so sorry, neighbors. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm not quite got it together yet, but I will. If I believe the king is by my side and he wants it to happen, it will happen. And I'm confident we're going to keep on redeeming. I just trust him. Part of me says everything's going to be ruined, but I don't care, neighbors. I'm here to bring redemption and love in the way that I can with my niche. And if you're a Christian neighbor, damn it. <laughs> what are you doing to bring redemption and love to our neighbors that don't believe in Jesus? And our neighbors that don't believe in Jesus, I don't give a shit. I'm still going to give shit away. Neighbors, please stick around. I'm going to teach you shit. You can ask me. If you're struggling with your chainsaw, just ask me what you got. Tell me what you got. If I got it in the shop, listen, neighbors, if I've got it in the shop, okay, and you need a video done, I will do that for you, neighbors. Especially if it's something that's only going to take me five or ten minutes. I'll stop what I'm doing, clear space if I can, or we'll go outside if it's nice, or we'll, we'll, we'll close down the parts washer. Sometimes I have to use it at a table. A lot of times I can't close it, though, because I got shit in it that I'm washing. I'm trying to wash the filthy, vile, disgusting nifts off of your saws and my saws that are going to be your saws. But really, I, really, neighbors, Christian neighbors, it all belongs to the king according to our beliefs. And neighbors that don't believe that, fine. My shit can be your shit, okay? And you can call it your shit, not the king's shit. I don't give a damn as long as you feel loved. That's all I care about. Damn it. The love is gone in the world, in the church. In the secular world, everywhere. There's just not enough love, damn it. We're not doing each other right. I'm going to keep telling you if I do you dirty, neighbors. I know a lot of you think I'm not doing you dirty, but no, damn it. Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, would go 100% for you. No matter how bad his back hurt right now. No matter how bad his shoulder hurt right now. I have a really beautiful vintage saw over here that I really want to show you guys. But I can't yet. A couple of my local neighbors now know that I'm going to be giving it away on a channel. Okay? And the reason I'm doing it, it was inspired by a story we did on a channel. So the stories aren't going to stop because my neighbors, that's what it's about on this bench. It's about community. I just want us to come back together. Okay, neighbors? Who gives a shit what anybody thinks, feels, or fucking believes? It don't matter if we can't love one another. You understand? I've been working 50 hours just because I respect the shit out of these two young men at Timber Brothers. That's why I worked all night, damn it, because the king of the universe told me, you can't let them down. They need you to show them that somebody believes in them. I believe in them, neighbors. Help me out. Won't you help me support them? Even if they haven't put the contact info, find out who they are. Tell them, hey, I hope you're not like that crazy dude on the internet. But we'll give you a chance, even though he's fucking crazy saying your name on the internet. Give him a chance, that's all. They're working hard, they're trying hard. They're trying to gain independence. And they deserve it. We all do, damn it. We all deserve to get the hell out the thumb of corporate America. Of corporate world. We do. Everybody deserves to have a shed in their backyard that they can go work in. To bless their neighbors, no matter what the hell we believe. I'm going to be editing the Desi ser series very soon. I have to edit it. I have to edit it. I don't know. I know there's things I'm taking out that I know I'm not supposed to. But unfortunately, neighbors, I love you more than I love Jesus. Okay, neighbors? Neighbors that don't believe in Jesus. If you ain't never read your Bible, that's a sin. To love you more than the king of the universe. But that's my fault. Okay? Maybe that's why my life is a mess. And I got neighbors here supposed to pick shit up that I thought was going to be ready, but because 10 different neighbors showed up, which is so amazing. That's the beautiful part, neighbors. I got I got Facebook going crazy. Everybody wants to come in the morning. 
I got an amazing deal in front of me on an MS200T top handle. But because I don't want to take the one thing away is that I promised the king I would take one day and rest and let my body recover and stop pushing so hard every day. But I will keep grinding, neighbors. I won't give up. I won't stop. I will persevere. I will get better. He would give you 100%, and I'm not giving you 100%, damn it, because I'm in a mess that I don't like, and I'm not humble enough to appreciate this 110-degree shed right now. Okay, neighbors, I'm going to let him keep humbling me. I'm going to let him keep breaking my heart. I'm going to let him keep changing me. And all the while, I'm going to say shit and fuck and whatever else. Why? Because maybe you Christian neighbors don't get it that we got fucking people out there that that's the only way we can fucking reach them is to meet them in the middle, damn it. They're rough, they're tough, spitting, cussing. Some of them even believe in Jesus and they're doing that. But some of them don't believe. Some of them believe they're fucking stardust. And I love them too damn much to make them feel like there ain't a king that loves them and made them for a special purpose. So I won't stop. I'm going to keep giving all y'all my shit. Because for me, it's his shit. Okay, I love you neighbors. Every single one of you. Thank you so much for all the neighbors that have prevented me from being at the bench as much as I should be. Because you're showing up in my yard. And just being great neighbors, buying stuff from me, bringing me stuff, telling me stories, dropping stuff off to be redeemed on the channel. I love it, neighbors. Thank you. Stick around. We will get better. We're all messy, damn it. Come on. We're all turds floating around together. Let's make it a little less messy for each other by just helping each other out and not being out to make a buck off of each other or whatever. Help if you can. If you can't, say, hey, neighbor, I really want to give you this chainsaw, but I really do need $550 for it because I'm poor, neighbor, okay? But next time I have a chainsaw that I've gotten blessed on, I'll give it to you. Maybe at a really low rate, if I can. Okay, neighbors, I love you. I'm tired. I'm going to rest with the king after I take a nice cold shower. Again, neighbors, thank you so much. Bottom of my heart. I know I'm fucking crazy looking on the internet. You think I'm not seeing this shit, neighbors? But thank you from the bottom of my heart to everybody that's supporting me right now, no matter how messy I am. Because that's how you show people that love does exist, damn it. Just got to love our neighbors and support people that are starting up. I got three. Three right now businesses that have just started. Just like me. I've been here almost a year, but damn it. They've just started. And they need your support, neighbors. They need you to give them a chance. I don't care if you can only afford to have your grass cut twice a year at 50 bucks. Okay? This young man. You know what he said to me? Damn it, I should do a separate video just for this. He says to me today, I really hope you I really hope you're still here, neighbors. I know I said that was it. I'm gonna cut as much of this video out as I can, I promise you, because this is the important part. This young man, 16 years old today, says to me, I said, So do you enjoy cutting grass? Because I like cutting grass on a zero turn. I want me one bad, damn it. But I'll stay humble and use my broken down tractor when I got to. Constantly jumping it off, airing the tires up. It doesn't turn right. Damn it, I'm humble. Thank you, King. Some people don't have a broken lawnmower to cut the grass with. Thank you, King. Some people don't have grass to cut. Thank you, King. Some people don't have a dilapidated, a dilapidated moldy trailer. Thank you, King, that I got a thousand dollar bed in my leaking roof. At least I got a nice bed to go lay in right now after I shower and change my seats, sheets because it's Sabbath. This young man says to me, See, neighbors, if you stick with me, I do get back to it. In that giveaway video, I did lose one story, but I will fix it at some point. He says, well, you know, kids these days. He says it. Like when I was 16, I'm sitting with my grandpa and his buddies, and I'm like, yeah, these kids are crazy. That was me. I never fit in with kids my age. I wanted to hang out with my grandpa and my daddy and his friends and <laughs> their friends. It made more sense. And he says to me, this kid, Demarion, says to me, yeah, you know, kids these days, they either got to be doing drugs or, or playing a sport or out screwing girls or just getting in trouble doing stupid. 
Basically, they're doing people dirty. They're doing their neighbors dirty, he says. That's how I would have worded it. And he says, me? I don't want none of that, so I just cut grass. I'd rather stay out of trouble. This keeps me out of trouble. Damn it, neighbors. This kid deserves to cut your grass. Come on. That's the whole point. I'm crazy on the internet, but you know what? At least I'm not doing heroin and crack and meth and cocaine. That's the whole point. I'm going to do whatever the king tells me to do to stay sober and not drive to Maine and beat this man's ass. Don't you all understand? He put his hands on my fucking son. I want to kill him. I will forgive him. I promise you. I will, but not right now, damn it. Right now I want to hurt him because he hurt my child. My child that is almost the same age, just slightly younger than this Demarion that was here today cutting my grass and telling me he did me dirty. <laughs> I loved it. I told him, hey, you're going to get way further with me than telling me you did me dirty. I'm going to tell you most of the time. I might get upset sometimes. But when you're honest with me, okay, neighbor, no worries, neighbor. Let's sit down, neighbor. You had a long day. Tell me about it. I know I talk a lot. Derek Murphy, I repent, neighbor. I'm so sorry talking over you. John, Blake, Davey, Chris, damn it, other Derek, Damari, <laughs> All oh, y'all, all my neighbors that are here, I just, but, 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 but. I don't know neighbors, I'm so sorry. I'm a wretch. He's giving me sins that I didn't used to have, like talking over people. Why? I don't know, maybe so I can give people grace for my biggest pet peeve, which is fucking interrupting me and talking over me. I don't know, he's done it before. Put the thorn in my side. Yes, it was a sin, damn it. Paul had a sin or a temptation of sin that he couldn't get to go away. And the king said, what'd he say? Come on. Christian neighbors, church neighbors, what did he say? What's it say? In 2 Corinthians 12, 9, first or 2 Corinthians. Paul says, And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee. Therefore would I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Okay? And I've studied this out. He's not talking about physical infirmity. you got to go over to Galatians, church neighbors. And we're going to talk about this shit. There's going to be a section just for the church neighbors. The ones professing Jesus. And my secular neighbors, listen. I don't want you to leave the channel. So don't watch that shit if you won't want, neighbors. I don't care. I really do not. When I'm talking about Jesus on here, damn it. I'm talking to the people professing his name, not the ones that don't believe. Listen, it's not my duty to tell them right now. My duty is just to love my neighbor. Yes, he said, go out and preach the gospel, but damn it, you can't preach the gospel without love. I'm just trying to fucking love. That's it. I just want to love my neighbor. That's it. We're going to support these people, hopefully. I want to sell people. I don't want to make $9 a hook off of these. $9! Neighbors, I could have made $9 profit. Probably about $6 after shipping. Okay? Maybe five something roughly. I'm trying to get the number exact in my head how much it would be. But it would be at least $5 a hook. Okay? I could sell one with each change all. That's five bucks. $5 bill is just piling up everywhere. Because this is a good product. But I told this man, no. No, damn it. I want to show people. I'm constantly all over these hooks changing chainsaws around nonstop. And these damn things are 3D printed and ain't broke yet. Y'all, I'm rough on these damn things. And we're trying to make sure every saw we have, we have customizable hooks in case your saw doesn't fit on the standard hook this man makes. He's working on it actively for you, neighbors. Please give these people a chance when I mention them. Don't let me ruin them, okay? Listen, don't judge them for my craziness. They deserve your business. They deserve a chance. Just give them one chance. If they fuck it up, give them a second if you want. If you believe in Jesus, that's your duty you got to give them 70 times 7 chances in a day. So that means they got to cut your grass 10 billion times a day before you can stop forgiving them. That's never going to happen. Okay, neighbors, I love you, neighbors. I got to answer these Facebook messages and go rest. Chainsaw Redeemer's tired. Till next time.